What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, keeping you up to date on all the latest of wrestling news, of rumors and reports. A lot to cover today, big and concerning news as we head into SummerSlam, as a major matchup could be removed from the pay-per-view, with two top superstars missing the event. More trouble in regards to NXT, the latest teases and backstage news in regards to CM Punk, and whether or not WWE is wary. We got that and more, so make sure you guys have those notifications turn on and if you're new consider subscribing to not miss any of our wrestling news and our wwe and aew coverage and coming out of this weekend, it looks like WWE is concerned that Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair may not be able to make it at SummerSlam for their scheduled matchup. It has been confirmed that Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair missed two consecutive house shows over the weekend. That was on Saturday night and on Sunday night. And the fans were told that Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair would not be able to appear because of quote unquote unforeseen circumstances. No for the explanation was given regarding what that really means and right now there's just a lot of question in regards to the whole situation according to reports wwe is currently keeping this tie lid and this whole situation just seems to be a secret but it seems like it's concerned it is worth mentioning though that according to fans who attended the show they saw sasha banks and bianca belair arriving at the arena on saturday night but something obviously led to them not appearing on the show to add to this pw insider noted that several sources in the company are saying that they are concerned that the sasha banks versus bianca belair match at SummerSlam will not take place that matchup is of course said to be one of the marquee matches and is for the smackdown women's championship we may not get an update on this match until at least friday on smackdown so for the time being it is just not looking good there's a lot of speculations right now that may Maybe one of them tested positive for COVID. And obviously that is a possibility since they did show up to the arena on Saturday. But then didn't appear on the show as they were advertised. But do keep in mind that all of that is just speculation. WWE hasn't confirmed it just yet. I will certainly keep you guys updated on it as we head into SummerSlam. On to some other news and we are talking the latest in regards to NXT. There has been a lot of talk about changes coming to the brand. And it looks like all of that is going to be kicking off next week following this weekend's NXT TakeOver 36. And a lot of the changes that are going to be happening are some that we are not necessarily too excited about. The Wrestling Observer Radio ended up indicating that brand new logos, a brand new lighting will be debuting next week, but that also WWE is going to be cutting back on NXT being live. They will be going back to a taping schedule for the brand instead of doing weekly live television. This is just another indication of just how WWE is trying to minimize NXT as much as possible and basically just letting us know that it's not the third brand in the WWE. They're trying to take it back down, making it what it initially was, a developmental brand, which in turn is only going to hurt NXT. With them not being live on a weekly basis, recording multiple episodes in a single week, it means that NXT is just not going to be the same, right? Right now they're looking at the brand as something that they could just cut down as much as possible to basically save up money as the day go by i only feel a triple h pain more and more and this only adds to the reports that wwe has decided to recruit and develop wrestlers who are younger and taller instead of the smaller and older wrestlers that fans have been used to seeing in nxc so as the weeks go by it just feels like there's more and more trouble for NXT. Vince McMahon is said to want bigger wrestlers that look like they can headline Wrestlemania and wrestle less like what is seen on the independent scene. Which basically means that, that NXT is no longer the alternative. In WWE they trying to make it another episode of Superstars or Main Event and that is definitely where the problem starts. Some interesting backstage news coming out of this past week's episode of Smackdown as we got to see a heated battle of war 
words between Roman Reigns and John Cena. Ringside News indicate that John Cena and Roman Reigns went to great length for their segment on SmackDown last week, even avoiding each other backstage beforehand. Vince McMahon apparently loved how it turned out, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that John Cena and Roman Reigns did not rehearse this promo. They went out it without seeing each other, more or less unscripted, although of course they probably have bullet points on what to say, and they basically show everybody how exactly it's done. And even though John Cena had the upper hand on this promo, he quote unquote had the last laugh, Roman Reigns was hanging in there like a pro. So I'm not surprised that they're getting massive praise backstage for what went down. And the thesis for CM Punk's AEW debut continues. Even from himself, CM Punk decided to add some fuel to the whole rumors, referencing OLE during commentary. In case you guys didn't know, CM Punk has been doing commentary for quite a bit now for Cage Fury Fighting Championship, and while commentating on the recent event, there were a couple of inside jokes going around. CM Punk commentary partner joked about CM Punk returning to his wrestling, which CM Punk then indicated that he's looking OLE right now, and adding that there might be something to all of these inside jokes. To add to all of this, during one of the NFL Network's recap of the Chicago Bears vs Miami Dolphins game, they described Justin Fields' debut as the most anticipated debut in Chicago until this Friday when CM Punk presumably might show up on AEW. And they laughed about it to the point where it kind of felt like they just know it's gonna be happening anyways. Sticking with CM Punk, it almost feels like WWE is not too worried about his debut coming up this Friday. Rest of all, ended up indicating that WWE is not expected to make a reactionary move when CM Punk shows up on AEW Rampage Friday night, which of course is 24 hours prior to WWE's biggest show of the year, but of course time will tell. Many people are just expecting WWE to just do something massive to counter that CM Punk return and that massive AEW quote unquote surprise or big moment, but it looks like WWE doesn't have any theme planned out for the time being. I do feel like all of that is going to change as we get closer to the pay-per-view though. I wouldn't be surprised if WWE brings back Brock or even Becky Lynch, likely Becky Lynch, the night after at SummerSlam. I don't feel like this will be something related to CM Punk though because these top superstars are just expected to return soon anyways now that the audience is back to the arena. Seems like the real concern is gonna come once they see the rating for AEW Ramp page because let's not forget a lot of people are gonna be home watching wrestling watching smackdown and rampage stars right after is only gonna be a click away and there's certainly going to be a lot of fans that would like to see a cm punk return anyways guys uh, that is all the latest uh, wrestling coverage if you enjoy or found this informative uh, you know what to do make sure to hit those notifications i'll catch you guys on the next one uh, so stay savage